Yeah, this was originally supposed to be 5 movies, but nothing made the cut for number 5. Hey guys, how's it going? It's been a while I know, and the reason for that is, well, I ran out of stuff to talk about. And the reason for that is, well, I ran out of stuff to talk about. I kept coming up with topics and then trashed them, thinking it's not interesting. So please do let me know about what kind of topics do you want me to talk about in the comments. There will probably be some absurd stuff here in the future, but absurd good, I promise. <laughs> so, what do I define as a laid-back movie? To me, a chill and laid-back movie has an easy-to-understand plot, does not have so much conflict that it has a long-term effect on you, and it does not evoke any strong negative emotions in you. Because if you haven't noticed, everything that comes in front of our eyes these days is designed for just that. But doesn't that get exhausting? Anger, anxiety, sadness, boredom. We feel so many things throughout the day and repeat the cycle days on end. We are always required to choose a side, take a stand, which don't get me wrong, are all much needed things in today's climate. But we are also human. We get tired. We need rest and gentleness from time to time. And for that, I'm always looking for a specific brand of movies who do just that for me. Movies that soothe and calm and put me in a pleasant state. So let's get into this list. Number 1. A Map of Tiny Perfect Things Available on Amazon Prime, this movie deals with one of my favorite trope. This movie deals with one of my favorite trope. Favorite tropes. I don't know why I can't say that. Favorite tropes of all time. Time loops. I cannot resist a movie that includes a time loop, no matter how good or bad it is. So when I read the synopsis, I was immediately in. I had no expectations from it to wow me or blow my mind away with its exceptional plot. I just wanted to see someone live the same day over and over again. But the movie did end up surprising me. This movie made time loops wholesome. The story begins with Mark, played by Kyle Allen, who was who has already lived through several cycles of the same day and is now well versed in what happens next. But one of these loops an anomaly happens and he encounters a girl, Margaret, played by Catherine Newton, who was also Ellie Pressman from the society, who is the only other person aware that they are now living in a loop. The two become friends and begin showing each other around town some serendipitous coincidences that they have both individually discovered. I really love the entire vibe of the movie and how it encourages us to enjoy the everyday interesting moments and to also love and cherish our close ones. It sounds really cliche but and I really don't know how else to put it but believe me you will leave feeling lighter and happy with this movie. Number 2 The Broken Hearts Gallery I'll be honest I avoided this movie for a while even after the synopsis had hooked me. I am generally suspicious of rom-coms because of all the classics that repackage toxic behaviors as romantic have scarred me for good. But this movie may have restored some of my faith into the genre after all. Don't get me wrong, this does have a climax with a grand romantic gesture of the and then everyone clapped variety, but at least it didn't make me cringe on account of being entirely problematic. Available on Amazon Prime, the story follows Lucy, played by Geraldine Vishwanathan, who works for an art gallery with a dream of having her own gallery someday. After a drunken mishap, she gets fired and broken up with at once. Now the problem with Lucy is that she is a holder of things from all her past relationships. Her friends are constantly trying to get her to give, the, give up the habit and clean her room and it never happens. Things change when Lucy meets Nick, played by Decorey Montgomery, and she comes up with an idea of an art gallery that encourages people to leave the objects that symbolizes their past relationship and with it finally gaining closure. Now first of all, ambitious girls in New York will always get an audience from me. If there is a genre I adore and cannot resist, it's this. Love me some younger, some the bold type and the devil pierce Prada. By the way, please recommend me some more. So there's that. And second, is that the most creative idea or what? I for one have not seen a similar plot anywhere else. I really enjoyed watching this despite not being a fan of the genre. Being an artist resonated with me. It was fun to see a project being built. I loved watching the creative process and I, I hope someone does that in real life. That would be a fun thing to see, don't you think? Number 3. 
wake up said i would be remiss if i did not include at least one bollywood movie into this and every time i think of comforting bollywood movies wake up said jumps to the top of the list for me i have watched this movie so many times i have lost count this movie gave me an obsession with string lights and is the reason why i dreamt of owning an apartment and living by myself The story follows Siddharth a.k.a. case said played by Ranbir Kapoor a typical rich kid who doesn't have any visions for life more than partying every night with friends one day he meets Aisha played by Konkana Singh Sharma who is the exact opposite of him she is ambitious independent and wants to live life on her own terms the two become friends as they help Aisha search for an apartment and then decorate it Meanwhile, Sid fails his college exam and that lands him in a heated argument with his father that concludes in him leaving his home and crashing at Aisha's. The rest of the movie is about Sid realizing his privilege and working towards recognizing his passion and then using that to earn a living and become responsible. As for Aisha, she also learns the importance of having people to celebrate one's achievements with. Just like my previous choice, the main attraction of this movie for me is the creative aspect of it. I love watching Aisha's apartment being built up and decorated and the creative atmosphere of the magazine she works for. It motivates me to work, work towards my own goals. Couple that with the beautiful soundtrack and you've got yourself something which is like a warm cup of tea in the form of a movie. If there's one movie I cannot recommend enough of this list, it's Wake Up Sid. It's available on Netflix India. If it is not available in your country, now is the time to support your favorite YouTuber who has been telling you about that VPN. I do not have any of those sponsors. Well, yet. Number 4, War of Likes. I did not know what to include after the first 3 because I am picky as hell. I was looking for movies with a very specific mood and to be honest, this one does not entirely fit here. But this movie made me laugh. entertain me and i just think it's a fun take on the whole social media thing and that's refreshing to me we have so many spooky documentaries and horror movies about social media it was fun to see a lighthearted comedy for a change available on amazon prime this mexican movie is centered around two frenemies one of whom is cc played by ludvia paleta i hope i'm pronouncing that right the biggest influencer in mexico and raquel played by regina blandon who does not understand social media culture at all trouble ensues when raquel is forced to take cc's help for gaining 10k follow- followers or else she would lose her job the thing that i liked about this movie is that as an online content creator i'm often caught up in it and stressed about algorithms and followers and likes and retweets so it was fun to take a step back and laugh at the absurdity of it all and how seriously sometimes we take it i felt like i was partly laughing at myself and that really a- is my anxiety for some reason this movie showed the fake side of social media without being overly condescending and snobbish about it so these were my choices for some perfectly escapist movies hope you will enjoy these i would love to hear your opinion so please do come back to this video and leave a review in the comments bye